What's up guys? Welcome to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do morph cuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. I got my clip in the timeline here. There's a chunk in the middle of this clip I've already pre-cut that I want to take out. So I have this scene, these characters talking, however, I need to save some time on this clip if it's going to fit in the, uh, in the video I need to edit overall. So I want to cut this entire middle chunk out of the video here. The line, be clear you said I need to, we're just going to jump from, I just want to be able to breathe fire. So we're going to cut this whole middle chunk out of that and just allow it to seamlessly transition from one clip to the next. So we're going to select our already cut time frame here, delete that out of the timeline, drag our two clips together, and the morph cut is going to allow us to seamlessly jump from this clip to this clip. So as of right now, you'll see the jump when I hit the playback button. I just want to be able to breathe fire. That's a pretty big I jump. I just want to be able to breathe fire. However, we're going to go ahead and add in our morph cut here. So in the effects control panel on the left, go ahead and type morph. And we have under dissolves here, morph cut. We can just drag that in here. And then we can kind of scale it down just a little bit to match our clips. And we're gonna go just a little bit before the morph cut effect on the timeline and hit I, and go a little bit afterwards and hit O. We're gonna wanna set our in and out points so when we render this, it's going to actually uh, render everything that we need and not more. So I'm going to give it some time to go ahead and analyze and do that render. Um, and I'll be checking back in as soon as that completes. All right, looks like it's finally done analyzing. So we're going to hop up here to the sequences tab on our top bar here. And we're going to choose render in to out. So we're going to allow this to render the effect. I just want to be able to breathe fire from your lips. All right, and that's how you morph cut within Adobe Premiere Pro. That about wraps up this video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I definitely appreciate it. This is the first of many more videos to come. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments, and if you have any requests for future tutorials, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next one.